let's talk about the pressures faced by sports persons. Yesterday, in a shocking incident, tennis world number one Novak Djokovic was disqualified from the US Open after hitting a line umpire with a tennis ball. Djokovic was expressing, expressing frustration at missing three points in a row, but he ended up hitting the ball at the umpire and hurting her by mistake. Nonetheless, it was a violation of the rules and he was disqualified, with the broad consensus of experts being that the punishment was justified. The tennis star has had a rough couple of months, starting with the charity tour he promoted, which saw a COVID-19 outbreak, and then debates over the starting of a new organization for male tennis players. And he's not alone. Across the world, sportspersons are facing a new phase of uncertainty. We saw reflections of the same in the IPL, when Suresh Rayana left the tournament saying that he wanted to be with his family, but soon faced allegations from his own team. And, there are of course, and these are of course top rung players. And what happens to those in the middle and bottom rungs? What are the kind of pressures they face? We talked to Leslie Xavier on these issues. Thank you, Leslie, for joining us. So we've seen what has happened uh, yesterday at the US Open. Djokovic was asked, uh, he has been basically disqualified due to after hitting the ball and hurting an official. And obviously he's apologized and everyone understands that this was definitely a mistake. But it does throw into question the larger issues that players are facing in various sports. I mean, we've had instances of Suresh Raina recently also. There's been a lot of discussion about other sports persons, how they're coping in times of the pandemic, how, uh, say, what does even sport mean at this point of time? How are they kind of facing these challenges? So could you sort of talk, uh, what are your reflections on what happened yesterday, of course, but also in general? Uh, Djokovic's uh, reaction to losing a point, of course, it's, uh, I mean, by, by the rules of tennis or generally by, by the yardsticks that, or the guidelines that they are put across for sports persons, how, how the sports person should behave on the playing field. It's, it's wrong. And US Open uh, officials have stuck by the rules to punish him, to disqualify him from the, from the match and forfeit, basically, that's the technical term that they use. And uh, so, uh, but, but there is a larger... Uh, question at play. I mean, that comes to mind when uh, when we look at the entire episode. So it's uh, of course the circumstances are extraordinary. The pandemic and uh, there was shutdown, uncertainty around every sport, and then tennis uh, is restarting. Tennis is relatively new as far as restart is concerned because f- football and other sports have, have come out, and uh, I mean. The, pen, the balance matches that happened from that were supposed to be staged last year were finished, and then the new season is starting. As far as fo- football is concerned, professional football, cricket is started. Uh, IPL is gonna start uh, across America. Professional sport had started, but they stopped uh, when the players refused to play. Uh, I mean, standing up for the Black Lives Matter movement, right, right. which is which is which is great in itself that uh, to see that players standing in solidarity against against racial discrimination and saying that we won't play. Uh, so the entire world, sporting world, I mean, entire world is in churn. There's no doubt about it. And but the sporting world has also uh, is also going through a bit of a turmoil as far as existence and the uh, I mean. Uh, related insecurities of, of, of lockdowns and careers and all are concerned. At the same time, uh, they are also trying to figure out what exactly is the future for sport in a way. What exactly should be the setup, uh, how the professional uh, world should progress in, in the sporting realm. On that that regard, Djokovic as a as a larger larger say in tennis because he is the head of the players union and right. he before the start of the U.S. Open he he convened and he formed a uh, men's tennis players association, men's only. So uh, which which has uh, attracted criticism as well. Some of the top players, including Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal, doesn't want to be part of that group. Right. And uh, so there is there is some kind of politics happening over there. And uh, as far as on the personal front, Djokovic has, has, has come out of, I mean, he was uh, tested COVID-19 positive after that uh, ill-fated uh, charity tour that he, that he conducted in Serbia and uh, Croatia and uh, in June. And that also attracted a lot of criticism. Whatever the uh, intention of Djokovic and the group of uh, and fellow tennis players were to conduct that tour, it, it all got lost in the in the eventual outcome that 
many it, it helped i mean many many got infected so in in all this uh, a lot of turning happening and you come into the biggest tournament post lockdown us open and he also is protecting his own personal unbeaten streak and he's world number one he is expected to win all the matches at the same time there is a lot of criticism around what he is trying to do in in tennis outside of the court and you you got to give it to i mean after all he is human so that is where this the uh, that is the biggest uh, reflection that i have in this that we fail to understand that these professional athletes are also humans we have mm-hmm. professional sport has dehumanized athletes to such an extent that when when this occasion when when uh, this uh, the occasion like jokovic bursting out then right. we talk about the rules and we talk about how correct it is and how 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 players should uh, uh, behave on court but at the same time we forget that there are many factors that could be at play and right. uh, one of the factors that's least uh, taken into account by any sporting organize uh, organizers these days post covid is is the mind factor what the players go through when 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 they are in Uh, they are fighting many inse- insecurities on many fronts, and at the same time, they have to also uh, um, soak in the pressures that exactly. is associated with performing at the highest level. Right, right, right. Absolutely. So, yeah, in this context, uh, even talking about the IPL is pretty instructive because there has been a lot of uncertainty around it. We saw what happened to Suresh Raina. We saw Harbhajan Singh leaving, and these are, of course, all uh, top-ranked players, players who are, you know, uh, very famous in the country. and even there we have issues of uh, say players facing that kind of pressure when they just don't necessarily want to play so the whole so it's actually is it the machine element of it is so prominent the machine element of the system seems so prominent today in various aspects yeah so uh, ipl is a class suresh raina's uh, uh, incident which which transpired last week and unfortunate incident again i would say is 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 a classic example of this and uh, so and it also proves that uh, i mean this this is this cuts across pro sport exactly. across professional sport the dehumanization aspect so when raina expressed his concern whatever be the personal reasons that he would uh, want to uh, not be part of the uh, ongoing season and he would want to return uh, to the country what the team does i mean I, i mean so that's the whole idea that a team the word team in itself signifies right. that it's supposed to be a support structure build a support structure around the individual players right. and then all these individual players will contribute towards the success of the team that's the that's the ideal model as such but uh, in ipl in csk the most successful ipl team ever they they chose to target the player for 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 deciding to be with his family in in the time of crisis and uh, uh, how did they do that they tried to twist a narrative around uh, uh, raina being picky and choosy about the kind of room that he would prefer staying in also they tried to build a narrative saying that he had a problem with ms dhoni uh, many and also a, a quotes i mean a sources based report came out and we know how how these things work they are all i mean uh, so saying that raina jumped protocol i mean broke right. protocol and that created a problem so the club decided to send him back so they tried they made the picture murky much like exactly. any of the uh, things that happen across political realms or any other where we're making things murky actually helps people get away with it so but but the larger picture was that you are conducting a tournament in uh, a pandemic Uh, in, in the times of pandemic, you are taking, you have uprooted a lot of players across the cricket playing world to to the uh, to the UAE, and you are putting them in an eco bubble in the middle of the desert, and then you are expecting that they would come out and play cricket, but then you are not taking into the aspect that you have to also nurture these players and ensure that they are all happy in their own own ways, and and it's as simple as that. When we say that we have. 15 member squad or 11 member playing 11 i mean playing team uh, we can't take care of each and every one no you can't, you have to because that's how team sport work that's that's why it's called the squad so you may have the psychologists in the team but when when a player needs that psychologists or when, when the player need the management to support him at his, uh, for for making a certain personal decision right. Right. you just you just fail the player and then you further try to criminalize him or demonize him 
for 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 being himself or being true to his is is calling or true to be i mean we always say that uh, psychological issues we should come out be open about it and all that when someone was open about it about his insecurity about him feeling unsafe you you start criticizing him exactly. and so so that's that's ipl's case so ipl i mean it's a, it's it's a very tricky situation now because harbhajan singh for instance again a former india player he has decided he has not yet traveled and he's part of csk again and he is is pretty uh, i mean is going through a bit of a turmoil that's what reports suggest that whether he should go because he has he, i mean safety concern is, is primary and so so that 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 narrative is completely subdued and the organizers are hoping that once the matches start and all these fireworks and all the all the glitz and glamour comes in the all the century sixes and all that then people will forget that 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 aspect that there is something that playing around on the side i just i just hope that the players remain safe all the people involved in the ipl remain safe but at the same time i also hope that the truth comes out whatever because eco bubble shouldn't be the case that they are using the quarantine to actually completely quarantine uh, right. news and uh, reality and truth that is happening within that within that system absolutely and yeah uh, it is like like you just talk about the interesting aspect here is that these are all prominent players these are powerful players who actually have a lot of money who have a lot of influence so you can imagine the situation in the say even the less prominent players in these teams or even in other rungs of the sport say the junior levels or the uh, what do you call sub national levels where players probably who are far more dependent on the sport and the system for their earning for their career basically would have absolutely no say in any of these matters yeah so uh, the in our times the biggest sports person is uh, is uh, i mean there's no arguability to it i mean it's lionel messi so uh, i mean we know in the last 10 days what has transpired in barcelona between lionel messi and the barcelona team management so he expressed his uh, desire to leave the club uh, because he had problems with the management he also i mean whatever the xyz reason was initially when when he expressed the, with, with the facts and uh, then everything was turned around the factor that the discussion points were his contract the validity of his exit clause the money involved who would buy where would he want to go why is he leaving will he join pep guardiola in man city many aspects of right. of 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 the uh, incidents that are, that was that was transpiring except the aspect that lionel messi is a man is a father he has a family and he is all he is also someone who is intrinsically connected with barcelona the city as well as the club because he right. grew up there he, the club made him what he is and when lionel messi finally decided that he would stay in barcelona the first interview that he gave clarifying his stance why he decided so he he openly i mean he was he presented the other side he said that my son was he came to know about it he tried to protect his son from whatever that was happening in the media around and it was crazy if you can imagine what was happening the speculations the criticism the the supporting uh, articles and and someone vilifying you someone supporting you things like that happening around and then suddenly his family realizes it his young son realizes it and he said that don't leave uh, barcelona that so again uh will a professional uh, let his son decide what what uh, what his future should be in the game well that's a personal choice i mean there are many uh, choices that we make in life and of course family matters of course because if if lionel messi shifts to england as a theoretical uh, situation will he be able to play properly if he knowing that is 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 family and uh, the uh, immediate friends and circle are not there or are unhappy about it it may not work for him so all these factors are important so but those are not taken into consideration when he came out and said that these are my factors again there was criticism saying that yeah it's uh, the uh, you are doubting whether whether that's actually the case or whether he was just throwing a tantrum and then he is staying put and things like that so so that is lionel messi for you uh, the biggest footballer biggest sports person of the era and then the others the lower rank sports persons they don't have a choice so if for instance when getting back to ipl now in that csk rank it's uh, apart from dhoni and raina and the big stars and, uh, even arvijan there are many players who are up and coming uh, who, who would not 
I mean, even if they are insecure, they will hide it. They wouldn't even probably. I mean, the sporting setup works. As, uh, how is that? You are as a sports person, you are expected to display a lot of alpha qualities and right. showing a weaker mental side is not exactly considered an alpha quality. And so, even if the team has a psychologist, the psychologist would have tremendous amount of trouble to break into the into the psyche of the player to make him reveal what is exactly bothering him. And it could be many factors, uh, and the uh, the sm smaller players, the younger players, would be the least uh, uh, inclined to open up about it, and they would suffer, obviously. And so, lo long term, what are these impli uh, What would be the implications on their psyche, on their careers? It's it's it's. I mean, uh, we'll have to wait and watch about it. But Im immediately, I mean, things that would happen is is. Deep in performances and which would, at a larger level, affect their careers beyond. I mean, it could affect their careers beyond repair. And and on on a general sense, the well-being of of that player of that individual and his his immediate circle of family and all will also be jeopardized by by such approach. Great. Thank you so much, Leslie, for talking to us on these issues. That's all we have time for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more news developments from the country and the world. Until then, keep watching NewsClick.